Not done! Juto, are you slacking off again? Nope, not at all. Today, I did every last thing that Melissa told me to do. Melissa, huh? She's a fine-looking gal. She's spunky and has her act together, too. If I was ten years younger, I'd snatch her up myself. You'd regret it later. Trust me on this. <laughs> Good one, Juto. Come to think of it, how's the memory? Anything shaken loose? Nothing at all. But you've been looking a whole lot healthier lately. The name Juto fits you perfectly. But isn't Juto the name of a kind of weed? It's a grass that's chock full of vitality. <laughs> Melissa sure has a knack for naming things. It's her way of saying, get your memory back soon and become as tough as a weed. Tough as a weed seems kind of lame if you ask me. I bet my real name is a lot more normal. But you can't remember what it is. Show her some gratitude for giving you a name and teaching you how to use a wooden sword. Now that you mention it, how come you can't use a real sword, Juto? Were you in a war before you lost your memory? Or did somebody take a swing at you with one or something? Boy, when I look at this fella, the only thing I can see him doing on a battlefield is running away. What? You guys get your kicks making fun of me? <laughs> Come on, you know that I'm just kidding, right? You've gotten better, enough to use a wooden sword anyway. Besides, if a war happens to break out, the southern forces will come in and help us. I hope you're right. I knew it. I can't do it. I can't pick up a real sword no matter how hard I try. Why? You know, you might not remember it, but I bet you fought in a war. I bet it must have been terrifying to see so many people dying. Maybe that's why you're scared of real swords, things that hurt people. Really? If real swords are no good, then let's start with a wooden sword. <sighs> I I'm sorry. I'm just not good for anything. Don't worry about it. You'll be able to use one properly someday. After all, weapons aren't meant to hurt others. They're meant to protect yourself. Did I fight in the war? For some reason, I still can't bring myself to touch a real sword. Thanks to Melissa, I can use a wooden sword. But for some reason, I still can't pick up a real one to use as a weapon. I don't think it has anything to do with my past, but I want to know why I can't pick up a real sword. I just want to know what in the world happened to me. What are you spacing out for? Are you really sulking? I'm not a kid, you know. I was thinking about something. I'm going back. Keep up the good work, old timers. Oh, hey, have you heard? They say the princess is coming to the village today. What? Really? They say she's the leader of that counter-sentinel unit that was put together to fight those terrible sentinels. Plus, rumor has it that she's also a beauty, so everybody's in high spirits. Impressive. I'm gonna see for myself.
It's really big. <laughs> Your Highness! What happened to you? At the caverns! A, a Northern Forces Elite Unit! Mayor, please tend to the soldiers' injuries. What is the meaning of this? Northern Forces are in the Windsong Caverns? They seem to be after the Guardian. The Guardian? They've launched a direct attack on the caverns? Please, don't worry. We will set out for the caverns at once. But to do so, we will need someone to come along and guide us there. I'll go. Juto! But wait, you're... A while ago, Melissa said she was going to the caverns. I want to see if she's safe. Melissa is there? Why now? Whenever you're ready. But Juto can still only use a wooden sword. We have no intention of involving a civilian in a battle. We only ask that he guide us to the caverns. Are you sure you'll be all right, Juto? Gramps, I won't do anything crazy, so you don't need to worry. Thank you. I'm Zephy. My real name is Rizafilda, but everyone calls me Zephy. This is Argo. He's one of the Trewa people. I'm Juto, ma'am. Very well then. Please show us the way to the caverns, Juto.